Sun Club to the Massy guys. We are finally back again for the very second reaction video that has dropped today on this here Miss Telix reaction, guys. We got all the Miss Telix YouTube family for definitely tuning in to another vibrations. Definitely, guys. Of course, don't forget to check out the first one, the previous one, in the first comment, in the comment box below, guys. And of course, the no comments are there. Big up all yourself as well for definitely dropping by and saying hello. We've been to Miss Slicks and say, What's up, my people? What's up, Mr. Lakes? So I said, What's up, people? Yes, guys, we are definitely back again for more vibrations in this regard. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, guys. I'll help the algorithm push these videos further and further. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through. Subscribe, click the bell, and then click all brothers and sisters. Drop them vibrations right there. Let's go hula hoop. Let's go to hula hoop, man. In the CTTT. Anyways, guys, talking about the CTTT right there. We've seen something taking place in Roseau. I believe this is today. And of course, a number of persons are showing up. You would think it's Bibles they're giving. No, not that now. <laughs> they dare. That is the Western Union. In the Western Union. Line. Hmm. No, guys, things are going so great in Dominica that people are now sending their money overseas. They are just sending their money. Well, no, that, that is not the case. Majority of people are coming out there. Are coming there are coming to receive funds i heard from a number of individuals who were there they stated that they come to get some funds in this regard so so maybe sending money overseas i know the haitians tend to do things in dominica so they can send money overseas they tend to they stay hungry you know some of them just stay hungry or they plant in their feet and they urban eating rice alone and they send any set of money overseas back to the haiti the haitian people of course you see a number of dominicans inside there they have definitely come to see what money they can get from their families from overseas. Can you believe it? I believe it. Yes, I believe it. People Christmas have... time come. Remember, man couldn't drive to Roseau, you know, and get a little something, something from the family members. So now that things are back, a little gas vibrations is, is happening. People have a little gas to know. Go up and down. Hey, let, let's go and collect some monies from our family members from overseas. And that's right. I think I myself have to go and collect some money. To collect. I might have to go and collect some, you know. <sighs> I don't know. Huh? I will see. <laughs> I think somebody sent me something when I was when I was back in, in the in the islands, man. And I, I totally forget to go pick it up. As I see that day. You know. <laughs> That's crazy. They on the road, It was for a project that I did, not 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 handouts. They don't they don't give me handouts unfortunately. So <sighs> Even the liquor youth. Liquor youth in line me boy. See boy I'm hungry in a while. Let me go and see if I can get a couple hundred dollars. Yes I So there are a few Haitians there, but you see a lot of local people. And as a result of that, man go to collect some funds. Yes, I collect the funds still, man. Jesus Christ. Like I said before, you know, that situation, man couldn't go Roseau like they wanted to and so forth and so forth. So now they get the opportunity. Yesterday was holiday. The day before was a holiday as well. And you know, yeah. So now things open up, man checking. Boy, let me see if I can call it, call it or something, something, man. They don't work in. Well, I'm not saying all of them working, but you know, the situation involving people not making much money. So they have to go and get assistance from their family members. Hopefully their family members overseas make some bonus. Maybe some of the family members come from St. Kitts and they get a little a, a little extra from the CBI funds and then they check in, boy, give me some, give me a little something now. Okay, look at $200, man. Come by Western Union, get a little $200 from the CBI in St. Kitts that we Dominicans living in St. Kitts received. That is something else, we eh? Boy, boy, that is something else. Boy. <laughs> hey, hmm. But the family members overseas make a bonus. I know a few people who get extra money in their, in their work in the United States. They get some extra funds. But hey, I mean, hopefully they send that down to the Dominican people. When you get a few free $400, you can send a free $400 easy. Because free $400 US dollars is about, what, a thousand. So you get a couple for yourself. Give some to your family members. Yes, I. Well... But I have to do what they have to do. But it's rather unfortunate what is taking place, guys. Of course, I remember seeing this particular thing right there. When the poor hurt, the rich is... What? When the poor hurts, the rich is pinched. When the poor is hurt, the rich is pinched. And a little pinch, a little... Ow! You know, ouch! You know what I mean? A little pinch is taken by the rich. But when the rich man speaks, you know his business wallet. 
is about to be rocked like Hurricane Maria category 12. Or the other one that hit Bahamas there, I forget the name. But they rock in us, man. You know when the rich speaks, when the rich finally speak out, you know the, the business world is being rocked. And talking about that very same situation right there. This is the in individual we're talking about, and this is what he had to say right there. Hi, Solomon here. I was saying that despite all the bricks and mortar development, I'm just going to make this louder, man. There's been no transformation, really, of the economy. Nope. And there's no... And, and the proof of that is there's been no development in the middle class. Okay, I'm bringing it low. Let's go back. Hi, Sunburn here. I was saying that despite all the bricks and mortar development... All the buildings that they're building. The look of buildings. There's been no transformation, really, of the economy. The economy is not building buildings. The economy is the elevation of the people by putting opportunities in place. That which they can then develop themselves, but that is not what is taking place. The people of Dominica are constantly begging. If they cannot beg the Prime Minister, they didn't have to go to do what? They have to go to their family members to send some funds for them. All right. And there's no, and, and the proof of that is there's been no development of the middle class. Hmm. If anything, it has shrunk further. Huh. And we As he's saying that there, I remember seeing something. This person is saying, so we're going to grow old without the opportunity to be middle class. You as a young person growing up, they say that we are the future. We are the future as a little boy, five, six, seven years. I heard that. I mean, my 30s. Now they're saying, oh, as a liquor boy, you'll be the future. We are the future now. Thank God I left to organize myself. Some people in Dominica, they, they're in their 40s, 50s, one day. When will they get that break? I remember speaking to a particular individual who has been constantly supporting the very system right there, stating, hey, look at me. I have been supporting these people. I ask him, wait, bro. So what has been happening with you? What is the elevation? What is your life's pathway? What have you done? He said, boy, nothing. He's 44 or 41, 44 or 41, 41 years old. And he tell me, boy, nothing. That is what he told me, nothing. What have you elevated in your life as a result of supporting these people? Absolutely nothing. So we're going to grow old without the opportunity to ever become the middle class. And you hear Yvonne talk about that same thing right there. Shrunk further. There's no... And, and the proof of that is there's been no development of the middle class. No development of the middle class and it's shrinking. If anything, it has shrunk further. More people are not becoming rich, you know. They are becoming poorer. Poorer and poorer and poorer as a result of becoming dependent on the very government. And of course, you know, that is what the government wants. And for his new world order vibrations. You guys know this. I have reacted to this already. We are looking for for um, evidence or measures which would indicate of a growing middle class hmm. which will support things like movie theaters, hmm. um, art galleries, exhibitions, um, local programming which we used to have back in the day. Guys, we used to have a number of these things back in the day. We number of these things. I remember even post of RBD cinema used to have movies in there. We. RBD cinema. Where is RBD cinema now? It have movie theater in Postmouth. We have a RBD cinema. We got sir. The cinema was not being used for concerts and for I think there was some market thing going on inside there, and that was it. We don't. We have not elevated at all. We have not elevated at all. But then again, you tell people these things and they think you the strange one. Um, on TV because it only sponsorship to thrive, you know. Yeah. There's a Dominica club. At one time, we had two social clubs. A Dominica club, you know, where people go and play tennis and do different things. Well, yes, I remember something like that in St. John's School. You used to have a tennis rack and people used to come and play tennis and this kind of thing there. I don't know if that is the same thing, but I used to see that back in the day. And then the next time I saw that was actually in Ross. But these guys saying that they used to have tennis racks and stuff in Dominica. But well, why be there now? We don't even have that anymore. Hmm. There's no social space for the middle class to go to. Nope. And I would say that's because there isn't a 
a sufficient number of middle class to support any of these activities. True. It's going down. It's not going up. When I constantly tell people things are going down and people watch me like I is nonsense, I say in. And you're watching your children grow up and asking for a job. Look in the previous reaction. A girl who has tried her best to be, I think, pretty much most avenues that she's pretty, she tried Calypso, she tried doing jobs, different places, gig, gig economy, the entrepreneurship that scared them, want to pride themselves in, which is absolutely nothing at all. Claire Harbour, she's working the 9 to 5 or, or, or whatever, 5 to 12 or whatever it is, or, or 12, to, 12 to 7, whatever shift she on. She's trying a number of things and really not seen away at all, where she now has to come on MONUs and cry out for help. I don't I put some blame on her. Yes, true, because she has made certain decisions by dealing with certain men that she should not have dealt with. But at the same time, you're looking at the economy cause and effect. And you've seen, but wait a while. The economy is not doing well. She has tried different avenues, not seen a way forward. But at the same time, when she then tries to maybe see love as the way that she can go forward, or maybe the opportunity of a fella or guys that she may have tried to, you know, I don't know, maybe not cash upon, but to become comfortable where she can have a better life with them. I mean, it's a very confusing thing. Because you see the economy is not doing well. And cause and effect of the economy has created the conditions that has happened to her. And Melissa will come forth and say, oh, I help you with pampers. That I can't. I, I can't understand that. Eh? Guys, check out our reactions in the first comment in the comment box below as well. I think ultimately this ultimate test of whether your economy is growing. Do you have a growing middle class? Obviously. Um, and the middle class is shrinking. The poor is getting poorer. There are more people you see on the street now. There are even those. Thank God their family members left a house for them. Or they left a little plot of land for them. So you know, would not see them going out and begging. Where well, that's one of the things I like about the nature of the Caribbean, you know, guys. The nature out of the Caribbean, Dominica sustains the people. This is why I always tell people, people in Dominica should not go hungry. If you go hungry, you are lazy because you don't want to plow the land so you can get fruits. And think, you don't even have to plow the land. You can just go around. There are fruit. There are no number of government lands that which you can go on and get free fruits for you to eat. Number of these things, you know, it's just not the level of comfort that you'll get. But the Dominican nature itself sustains the people. And um, perhaps... And it's a hell of a thing that our leaders are doing this to the people, man. The leaders, are, the guys I saw here moving forward, the leaders are supposed to amplify the opportunity that Dominica, the nature island, has presented. But instead, they are doing it for their people and themselves. Three mansions, we, the Prime Minister, three mansions. I mean, is, are, are we blind? Are we. Uh, well, then again, I don't believe we are blind anymore because we've seen. But the thing is, a lot of greed. Is taking place. I want to. I want to get for me. I don't know about you, but I want to get for me. Is me I want to get for? I don't care about you. When I go, you give me a stove in my house. I cannot afford stove because of the very government that that killed the economy for me not to be able to to afford the stove for myself. So I have to go and beg him for a stove. And are you going to be the one giving me the stove? But I tell you, it's an interesting thing how you look at this. You know, it's very interesting indeed. <laughs> And perhaps if we are seeing less people with degrees and returning to find work at home, hmm. and that's an indication that this year is just... He said something, if you are finding less people with degrees, I think we have more people de with degrees, but are they returning to Dominica? I know a number of persons who have gone to get degrees in the United States and they do not. They are trying their very best. There are people who have left Dominica and risking losing their ability to come back to the United States if they are caught. They are risking it to stay in the United States so they can try their best to see how they can make themselves and hopefully get to marry somebody or hopefully get a business to 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 uh what do you call that again to to file for them or some some kind of situation they are hoping for to happen in this regard because they do not want to come back to Dominica. Not that Dominica is not good, you know. The leadership of Dominica. The Prime Minister keeps saying leadership is everything. It's clear that the leadership is everything if you're leading the country either up or you're going down. It's very clear where Dominica is going when the little ones want to leave. Even the little ones asking the little ones. I tell you, five, six year old, I used to ask them as soon as I came from the United States, I came back to Dominica in 2020, asking the little ones. I think there was a, a whole situation with schools and whatnot during that time when school was just about to start back. Asking the little ones, what do you see yourself? Where, where you want to go? Do you want to go to school? They say, yes, so I can leave the country. I can go overseas. 
Talking about their family members in other Caribbean islands. Boy, you mad. I should have recorded that and put that on video, boy. For them. And then again, people come here with degrees. They go and get degrees that have nothing to do with Dominica. Because they do not want to come back to Dominica in the first place. You would think that the Prime Minister would give scholarships for people to actually have degrees that can actually be implemented in Dominica. But they know that there's nothing condu conducive for Dominica, so that's why they, they're allowing whatever, quote-unquote, whatever to happen. But the best set of degrees you can get, guys, is accounting degree. If you want to go overseas, go and get an accounting. If you're not good in maths, learn maths. <laughs> get an accounting degree. There are more businesses filing for people overseas. Yeah, even helping all you out. STEM programs, that's one of the things that will get you to stay in the United States or go to Canada. Go to Canada. The, 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 the parents listening, if you want to actually make your little one survive and get better, be, do better than you, if you're not greedy and selfish for yourself, you want your little ones to do better than you, send them overseas. If you keep them Dominica, chupool. <laughs> be a chupool for them. Eh? Well, you don't want to listen, that's fine. But even the liberalize themselves know this. Because I was talking to a number of them and they themselves say they want to get their children out of Dominica. Because they know Dominica is not doing well. I mean, the very prime minister himself allowed his children not to be born in the very prime, in, in the very country that he is leading. He allowed his children not to be born there, but to be born elsewhere in the United States so that his children can have a better opportunity when he's supposed to create a better opportunity for the people that he is leading. And he will come and say, leadership is everything. Really? Interesting stuff. When the rich start to scream, all you should know, the poor dead already, if any bad. And it's wonder, it's no wonder why so many people leave Dominica and don't come back. Imagine this, you leave Posse working town for minimum wage, you're basically working for boss money. And look, to even pay boss is a luxury nowadays. <laughs> to even pay boss is a luxury we? <laughs> that is something else, you boy. Because the ordinary people couldn't pay boss. Boss did that gas or nothing like that to pay boss, though. Is a luxury because boss price is so expensive. Man have to try and bomb ride if, see if they can bomb ride or, or hitch a ride with their friend and see if they can split the bills away where it can minimize them or pay 25%. So if they pay 25%, it would be as expensive, but they're still helping their friend to pay gas. So man have to figure out ways and means. They, 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 what are they calling that? They carpool in. You go in St. Joe, I go in, we come from post, we go in St. Joe, what not, blah, blah. This is where you work in credit union. You go in, um, 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 where else now? Maho, wherever it is, only way I go into Rose. Oh, okay, we'll carpool. We pay a little something, something, so it helps each other within that sphere while depleting the revenue from the bus drivers. But then again, to pay boss, like I said before, is a luxury in Dominica, that is the state that we have reached and people still don't realize that. No, they realize it, you know. They're just wicked. R.I.P. Dominica. Rest in peace, Dominica. Yes, I. Yes, I. All right, then. <laughs> All right, then. When I hear labor rights say the country hard, and they are the ones who are voting to make sure that it stays hard, and they think... That there's no better option by voting the same thing over and over. That is what I don't understand, you know. People are voting the same thing over and over and saying, oh, Lennox, if Lennox come in, it's going to be worse. And you have no concrete evidence of whatever that is. Only solely based off your feelings. That you think that because he's ugly, he will leave the, he lead the country down there. That is what people think. That is literally what people think, boy. Say any man ugly, scary looking better than him, he had dimples. Scary had dimples, so let's vote for scary because he had dimples. It's a beauty contest, no? It's not a beauty contest. But at the end of the day, that is what people are res resorting to. How nice you look. Boy. Eh. And, and Lennox is healthier than scary. It's <laughs> something else, boy. Hey. This is another thing right there. Royal Palace, Dominica. Where is that, brothers and sisters? That is the um, that is the um, um, um what is it? Morocco Hotel. The Morocco Hotel, you know, they say they call it Royal Palace, Dominica. So apparently, they saying somebody else is running this thing. Let me see if I can get it for you guys. Hold on, I got some screenshots of what the individual are telling me. And this is it right there? This is what the person is still telling me. I heard they 
have an Arab managing it, and he have a few hotels in Guada managing as well. So you see, more foreigners, more foreigners coming in to partake in Dominica. When the tourists them come in, they then sending them to these individuals instead of sending them to the apartments that they are allowed to be abandoned as a result of Ross leaving. But I don't understand these things, you know. They are allowing people, foreigners, to come in to do things in Dominica. Whereas the very people who are sustaining these people to put them in power, the people in power allow Ross to leave and now are in charge of the hotel industry in Barbados concerning Ross. And when it comes down to the people in Dominica, when people come to Dominica as tourists, they're then pushing them to these hotels right there. That is controlled by Arab or some Arab people saying is managing this. That's what is what, what, what is apparently stated, alleged to be stated. Well, I understand they gave it to someone to run who run in some hotels in Guada. And apparently that is an Arab individual. And they noticed something is happening in the place. They started clearing up the place and started doing a little renovations and what have you. You see some clearing up and what have you there? They're fixing up this thing. Interesting stuff, breaking it down and putting um, um, blocks or whatever that going on. Whatever that's happening there, they're doing some sort of renovation, brothers and sisters. You notice there's no bush growing there. No bush, brothers and sisters. No bush. But hey, I guess that's what the people like. Not true. It's not me that like it, you know. It's all you that like it. All you are allowing these things to happen. And things are taking place behind closed doors on people's backs. And then nobody knows about these things. We happened to hear scarities in Dubai the other day. <laughs> I don't know if that is true, but that is what we hear. How do we know it's true or not? When the very people do not tell the people who put them in power where they are going to do their business. Seems like they're going to do their business, not the people's business. But that is what the people allow. And then when you see um, people like Ivon, Ivor, whatever is his name, um, Nassif is complaining about the same situation about the middle class is shrinking. The middle class is shrinking. The rich is no longer getting richer, you know. The oligarchs are getting richer. The rich is getting poorer. <laughs> because there's no spending power for the rich to then get richer. You know the rich need people to spend money on their stuff, right? When the people don't have spending power. That is the same thing that happens for entrepreneurship. If the entrepreneurs are coming into business and say, Hey, I have an idea. Let's do something in society. They come forward, put their thing forward. But if the people don't have spending power, you know what's going to happen? Their business is going to die. Simple and to the point. If you understand anything about setting up entrepreneurship businesses on your own, you have to understand. One, spending power, population size, and raw materials. These are the three most important part. And of course, the next one is the marketplace for which you can sell. A number of persons say, oh, sell overseas and whatnot. But if you cannot do it here, sometimes it's difficult to go overseas, especially when you don't have the proper connections right there. Some individuals have been reaching out to me saying they try to make connections and whatnot. I've distributed them to other people to see what's going on. And then after, if things are continuing in this regard, then I will see how okay, I can link other people as well. But it seems the key here is no longer in Dominica. But to sell, make your products in Dominica and send them overseas, that is the key. That is something else, we. Because why? Because there's no spending power, very little spending power in Dominica. This is why people like Nashel had to complaining and say, hey, I'm like, working in Clearbo, but I'm still struggling. Or she probably just start Clearbo and say she's still struggling. Working all the time, people staying with family members, kind of pay rent, all those kind of things there. Because the government, them have created the economy to which that has created that very same situation guys what are your thoughts man this is pretty much all about for this here reaction video let me know your thoughts give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more definitely subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get more videos as they tend to go through guys and i'll see you guys in the next reaction video boom bang.